live from Los Angeles. Welcome back to Good Morning Lala. And we are so honored to be talking about Thought Thursday and suicide prevention, self-love, and we are honored to have um, the War Friday movie director, Jerry G. Angelo, and starring Victoria Clare as one of the roles. How are you guys? Hi. Wow. So excited to, to have show. you guys here. So yeah. honored to have this conversation with both Thank of you. you. Thank it's, you. It's incredible. This movie has become more than just a movie. Yeah. It's a community, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's become a movement. We, When it started off, it was just like a, an ember of inspiration to make a, a vehicle for our careers and something that we're passionate about. And then uh, as, as it just started going through the, you know, from conception to through production, just all the miracles that were taking place. And then we had our, our world premiered in Tehachapi just a few weeks ago, and it was, it was electrifying. Where was it? It's a small little town called Tehachapi. It's mm -hmm. like two hours, uh, I think it's like northeast, right, of, of, of Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And how many veterans were there? Oh, gosh. Well, Hundreds. There, yeah, we had, we, we had sold out two auditoriums. <laughs> there was over 320 people wow. there standing. Wow. Uh, How exciting is that? Yeah, it was pretty awesome. Yeah. And then we have, we have a Q&A um, to get very personal at all our screenings. So we're able to hit one theater at a time. And uh, it becomes very, you know, the the cast starts talking about, you know, and the subjects that start to come up, it, it allows for the audience and the veterans and everyone to, to start sharing their stories. Mm -hmm. And it gets so, so deep and personal and emotional, but also so freeing. Mm -hmm. It becomes, you know, everyone gets to, um, that, that brings awareness for everything. Victoria, uh, I, I'm really curious about your experience at the premiere. Tell us about it. Um, it was so exciting. Um, it was so much fun, and I got to participate in the Q and A, which was so much fun. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. It's amazing how healing just a conversation, just acknowledging what happened, and and for everyone. So, what does this movie mean to you personally? Oh gosh, it, it's it's a growing of what it means to me. Like I said, it started off as one thing, but um, I realized it. You know, it's a movie, but it becomes a stage and a platform to be a voice for so many people. Um, we've already learned and dealt with, with brain cancer. Um, we've dealt with uh, um, PTSD um, with uh, our, our military men and women, but also specifically with the women. You know, there's the women are more on the front line now. They're coming back. And so um, for one, one, with Christine, when she came back and had PTSD, they didn't have a um, she was going to go into a, a counseling group with, um, for, for a group of men, and she was the only woman. They wouldn't allow her in there because they were afraid that the men would like, close up and they wouldn't be able to talk. So she had to find a different avenue, which didn't suit her well. Oh, you know, so there's all these different things that come up. We, um, have, we have a look at the movie. We'd love to show the trailer. Yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah, Let, yeah, let's please. take a peek. Sweet. I'm not really thinking about back home. You want to get home, but you can't think about that when you're in the field. I mean, we had a job to do, so just do our job. Go! Go! Run! Hey, listen to me, okay? Honey, you're just having a dream. Nightmare. Yeah. Monster in it. Hi, Casper! Hey there, little buddy! You saw this from last night? Yep. Bad moment. You've been having a lot of those lately. I think you need to see a professional. So Dorothy closed her eyes and tapped the heels together of her ruby red slippers three times. There is no place like home. There is no place like home. There is no place like home. Four of our Delta operatives went dark after they crossed into Iranian territory. It's imperative that we get eyes on the ground down there immediately. So when you pass over the Iranian border, you are on your own. No air assets. Cheer up. Do you think sometimes souls get lost between here and heaven? I am not leaving you. I'm going to do my nine to five, get in the train, come home to you guys. Clear this. Clear this. I'm coming back. I'm not gonna miss this. I have 
had you back then, I've got you back now. One is not, two is one. What are we running from? Not we, you. You know what the moral of the story is? Always go out doing something that you love. Intense. Wow. So it begs the question, where is self-love versus sacrifice? What does that look like? Oh gosh, that's a, it's a it's an individual question. Every single person is so different how you handle it. Everyone's lives and the circumstances, it all it all accumulates to to whatever is individual mm -hmm. is the best way to put it. Great. Yeah. yeah. Great answer. What was the most difficult part about working on this movie? Oh gosh. Um, the most difficult part for sure was overcoming every obstacle and challenge and roadblock that was put in our way because the entire movie, um, whole, entire production was done for $38,000. Wow. And Micro budget. Yeah. Wow. It was, it, was, it was built off, you know, the people that I, just great relationships and people that also believed in the project like I did and everyone did their part and, you know, Gosh, it, it's been quite a journey. I, I, there's no way to put in words. It's, it's a, an emotion, just like, I can't even believe it happened. Victoria, t tell us a little bit about who your character was and what it was like to work on the movie. Uh, my character was Olivia Wittenberg, and that play I played his daughter in the film, um, and that was so much fun. Um, I feel like her role in the movie was... Um, just showing that you have to come home for a reason. Mm. That means so much, doesn't it? We have a look at some behind the scenes of the two of you. Tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about that. Uh, so this is towards the, this is actually the opening scene, I believe. Can I have a cool nickname like you? What are you talking about? You got lots of cool nicknames. You got some of the coolest nicknames in the entire world. Kidwit, Munchkin, Pumpkin, Nugget, Angel Blue Eyes, Total Lango. I want something more like Wolf Girl, the most awesome superhero in the village. Dun dun dun! <laughs> you are so silly. Mommy says she misses your handsome face. Mommy says that? Makes me want to cry, you guys. It's so a beautiful so scene. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So talk to us about suicide. Talk to us about PTSD and what's happening. What have you learned about war and the residual effects on people here in the United uh, States. Oh, geez. Mm -hmm. um, so before I, I started the movie, um, I, I knew very little. I knew PTSD is, a, is just a, you know, the acronym. Um, in the process, you know, PTSD, every single person, it's different. Um, it's, again, it's an individual thing. You can't treat one, one case the same for everybody. It's uh, all different. Uh, gosh. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. It's a, uh, like, say your question again. No, it's okay. I mean, just, just knowing what, what, what's your experience now? You know, my yeah. sister worked for the vet, uh, the VA office in Salt Lake City, and, um, you know, she just was, her heart was so filled with just, with just the residuals of everything. And I know that she would do prolonged therapy, and she'd do, and now there's uh, a different uh, rapid eye movement therapy, but it's an oh. epidemic, and it, it affects all of us because we're all one. And so what, what's your experience of, like, what is that community like? How's What's your experience of just the residuals of all that? Sure. Well, um, w what ends up happening from my position is I become a fulcrum um, for a bar, or for everyone's information. When someone watches the movie, they come to me, they share their experiences, and I'm like a sponge. And so I, I, I'm, I'm very empathic and, and compassionate, and I, I, I take in their experiences. And it, I mean, it, like I feel, I can feel their pain. Mm. I don't. Uh, it hasn't happened to me. And the, the weight of war or the weight of the, the sacrifices that our service women and men make, you know, and, and all uh, um, these type of, you know, high-stress jobs and 
And the second they leave out their, their door in the morning, they may never come back, you yeah. know, whether it's the firemen but or police. I, what, is your, what is your mission in this, Jerry? I mean, yeah. you wrote and directed an incredible yeah. micro-budget indie film. It's now on Amazon. What is your mission? Um, with this community. Yep. Yeah. Uh, mission now is to is mm -hmm. to um, reach a, the biggest audience we can, a world audience, and let you know start to bring awareness of the the magnitude and the weight of what's here. Um, people in, in the military that don't have a voice or they, they don't they can't speak, they can share this movie and say this is this is this movie is one of the closest things to what I've experienced, and it follows. The family also, the family is the backbone. If someone has PTSD, it's not just that, that one person. It's, it's the, the husband, the wife, the daughter, the friends. It brings mm -hmm. us all into it. Just Absolutely. Like it, just like with suicide as well. It, it affects, it, it's a ripple effect. You know, you had such an interesting role in, in playing his daughter in the film, and the daughter of a Navy yeah. SEAL, and someone who is dealing with PTSD. What would you say to the daughters and the sons who might be going through a similar experience as, as your character did? Oh, um, I would say um, the movie was only a fraction, I'm sure, of what the kids actually experience in real life because I knew that he wasn't actually going to war. Right. It was only a movie, it was but only a they movie. don't. But, yeah. it, but when you when you feel that as an actor, what would you say to maybe the people who are feeling the way that your character did? How do they deal um, with that? I would say just to stay strong. Um, just have faith and hope and that things will work out one way or another. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. There, there was you. a moment actually that we were shooting in the backyard scene when the, the group is together and they, they find out at this moment that they're going on to a new mission and the, the mood changes. And so all the actors, you know, all the, the adults there were, you know, their, their mood changed because the, the wives and the, the support systems, their mood changed. And then she just started crying, just mm -hmm. off the reaction of everyone. And it broke my heart. And then she runs across and gives me a hug and, it was like it was like a real movie. It's, 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 it's one of the things I love most about you guys, and also this movie. Of course, incredible production, incredible talent. I mean, just great acting, great plot, and great script. And but it's the heart I think in this movie that really Dude. moves me. And I can feel that. I felt that the very moment you guys walked in the door. You can feel you guys are definitely both empaths. You're very sensitive very authentic people and I think that's what makes for great actors and that's what makes for great movies and so above all else I love that you're spreading sort of that big heart mm -hmm. and helping people come to a greater awareness understanding of sort of the, you know the issues around PTSD and war and all these things thank you so much for doing right. it I really so appreciate yeah. it yeah. and I took EMDR I'm sorry I said it wrong REM earlier I think it's EMDR that is the um, therapy cognitive therapy that's having vets have much faster healing so there used to be prolonged therapy and of course a lot of other modalities and now it's EMDR, I believe it is, the rapid eye movement and they're healing really fast. Um, we're involved with Karma Coins, they're kind of uh, having a little stuff with their startup but it's all about giving back and bringing uh, the EMDR to the world because it's, it can be expensive to go to a therapist, right, even if you're a vet. So um, just knowing that, knowing that all the, so many people on board to help this entire movement that is all of our, it's all of us. And yeah. you talked about a quote before. Tell us a little bit about that. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. This is a quote from a World War II a soldier, uh, Archibald something. And it says, uh, it's, it's short, it's short and paraphrased, but it says, our deaths are not our own. They are yours to make, to do what you will make of them. Mm -hmm. And I think that's mm -hmm. so beautiful. And that, that sums it up. That's the best way for the, for those the veterans who have the the regret of losing their 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 loved ones, the brothers and sisters, that they can uh, put you know with that one quote, they say, you know, I have to do something with this. You know, you don't want to you don't want to give up yourself. And you've oh, done wow. something incredible with that. Tell people where they can find Warfighter. Sure, uh, Warfighter is now on Amazon. Uh, so if you just go on Amazon.com, it's there's the regular link, and you type in Warfighter movie, you can get it. Um, you just click on it, and, and then if you can leave a review, that you know the the two things together help us since we're such a small, sure. little entity mm -hmm. trying to be big. Um, that's the the most incredible way to help us. Right, all the vets out there, get involved, support, comment, 
do, the reviews are so important. Go on there, write a great review. If you, of course, five stars is best. We want <laughs> and um, and ask other people too. That's what you yeah. can do to support it for sure. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll be back with more in Good Morning La La Land. Stay tuned.